In this video, I'm going to show you how I can use ChatGPT to take my top earners in content. This could be a YouTube video, podcast, articles, social posts. In this particular case, I'm going to have ChatGPT help me analyze my top performing blog articles or stories on a third party platform that I write on and make money on. So there is a platform called Medium and on Medium, you, anybody can join Medium. Anybody, well, I don't know what their exact requirements are, but, but most of us can join Medium and there is something called a partner program where when your articles get viewed, you can make money and your articles are evergreen. So they could stay up here for a while and you could continue to make money month over month. Like I'm doing on these top ones. Sometimes I will write an article and it doesn't make any money doesn't really go anywhere. Other times I write an article and I'm like, wow, this one's doing really well. So what I thought I would do, and I, I discovered this this morning, as I said, let me really quick, just make a quick list of all of the articles that are making money. Then let me feed those to chat GPT and ask chat GPT what they all have in common. Then I can easily see I can ask ChatGPT, make me a list of which articles to create next. Or whenever I create an article, I can feed that list to ChatGPT and say, come up with a title for this article based on this information. So I'm going to walk you through and show you this just so that you get a, get a good idea. And again, you can do this with YouTube videos, podcasts, any content that you're creating. So what I'm going to do is starting here, I'm going to highlight just the stories that have made over $10 or write about, okay? Because those are my top ones right now. Oh, well, I have a bunch that are new and we don't know. We know these are actually making money. So I'm just going to copy that list. Now, sometimes I'll use a Chrome extension for this, but let me see how ChatGPT does on its own. I'm going to say extract only the titles. Let's see if it does it on its own. I use other Chrome extensions and things that are also powered by ChatGPT that work well. Oh, see, this is why I don't always use ChatGPT. It started writing an article. So let me show you how I do it here instead. So we'll take this and I'll just open, let me open this little Chrome extension here. This is called Cider. I'll put a link below in the description and I'm going to say extract only the titles from this list. And I'm going to paste in the list. Now, Okay, it's just kind of running them all together. Um, bullet point each. There it goes. Okay, so whether Cider, Harpa, those are a couple of the Chrome extensions I use to do things like this. And if you watch my other videos, you'll see what I love about Cider and what I love about Harpa. And But it's weird because the straight native chat GPT if you go right there, it sometimes doesn't follow the directions as well as these Chrome extensions do. So anyway, so now we've got my list, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's perfect. I mean, there was an exactly perfect number, but I like that number. So 15 articles to go off of. Okay. So now I'm just going to copy this list and I'm going to come over here to chat GPT. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to, I like this advanced data analysis feature. And I, this is what I did this with. I, I haven't studied enough about this to understand what it does, but I did this this morning. It worked so perfectly. I want to do it the exact same way. So I'm using chat GPT four. That is the paid version, the plus version. And every time I turn this on, there's new things. Like for example, I just turned it on and now we can search images within ChatGPT, where you can actually upload an image and do a search. I'll get to that later. But now we have browse with Bing, so we can search the web now with Bing. Again, we could before and they took it away and brought it back. We have advanced data analysis, we have plugins, and then we have Dolly 3, which is an, uh, a text to image creator. But for today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this one, advanced data analysis. Then here, this is the prompt that I used this morning. Um, you Use this list of top performing articles that I have written 
and tell me what they all have in common. Why are these articles outperforming other articles? And then I'm going to paste in that list. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, here we go. Common themes and reasons for high performance. So it says, I'm offering financial incentive and promise. It says almost all your articles emphasize the potential for significant financial gains. Things like AI plus Etsy equals 307,000. Specific figures. It says I'm giving specific dollar amounts or percentages. This lends credibility and adds a tangible, tangible element to the promise of making money. People are more likely to engage with something that feels attainable and concrete rather than vague promises of increased revenue. Third one, trendy topics. I'm covering trendy to topics. How-to guides. Urgency and FOMO, fear of missing out. Variety of platforms and intrigue and curiosity. Okay. Now that we know that, why my art, these articles are performing so well, we can now say something like, great, based on these commonalities, my spelling's not great. That's okay. I'll fix it anyway, just for the sake of the video. Um, Give me a list of 10 new articles I could write. Now, here's a list of 10 articles that align with the common themes identified from your top performing articles. So unlocking $20,000 a month, the hidden gold mine of AI generation art on Shopify. Flip the switch, earn $5,000 per week with automated TikTok content. The $12,000 monthly secret, how to monetize podcasts using AI tools. The ultimate side hustle on Instagram, turn $100 to 10,000 in 60 days. You get the idea. It even lists a little theme under there, why that's a good thing to do. Now, if I wanted to, I could say, give me, uh, um, I, I could say something like, I blog daily. Give me a month's worth of titles and it'll give me 30 titles. I can say, put that on a content calendar and it'll put it in a content calendar. Or I could say, put, okay, I could say, put this in a table so I can use it with a spreadsheet. Okay, now it says it's working and now it's going to put it in a spreadsheet for us. Now I am curious, just for the sake of this before we go, if I took that same list right here, let me see what chat GPT, the free version does. I haven't checked it. Let's just check it for the sake of it. Same prompt using these top performing articles. Tell me what they all have in common and why they might be performing so well. blog articles. Okay. Now we're going to paste it in. So this is 3.5. Interesting. So captivating titles, appealing to aspirations, specific numbers, practical advice, use of buzzwords. Interesting. It's still giving me answers, but I personally felt like the 4.0 was much more specific. It specifically mentioned it specifically mentioned um, the money, the figure. So if, if you're if you don't have the paid version, it'll still give you answers. I just liked the way the 4.0 with this advanced data analysis gave me better. I just thought it gave me a better response. Okay. So then, like I said, when we went back here and we asked it to make us a table, oh, it's still it's still finishing working, giving us a table. But if I if you do that. In 3.5, it tends to be quicker. That's okay. Anyway, you try this on your end. I don't want to hold you while we're while it's creating this table for us, but it will put it in a table that you can carry over and put it on a spreadsheet as well, if you like. But that's the basic idea how to take any YouTube channel, any blogs, anything that's working, get the commonalities, and ask it what you should create next. Hope that was helpful for you today.